G'day. <coughs> Just wanted to um, do a little video. I've got some spare time today, so I'll do a little one about the um, two-part dosing system, the Randy Holmes Farley system, um, mostly for Aussies who might have trouble getting some of the um, chemicals that's mentioned on the website um, that the Americans can get hold of, but we can't. So firstly the calcium part which um, is calcium chloride and Randy says to use Dow Flake <coughs> which I don't think is available in Australia so this is the alternative uh, it's a product called Damprid it's easily available at um, Bunnings um, I think supermarkets might even have it it's it's 95% um, minimum calcium chloride so it's very very pure um, the Dow Flake in Randy's uh, website, I think he says is only 75 to 80% pure, so this is much more pure than that. Uh, costs about um, $8 for 1.2 kilos. Um, I think you can get a product at a pool shop that's a lot cheaper than that, but this does me with my little tank here for a long time, so that's um, you just use that as per recipe one or two, whichever you prefer. And that's the product you need, Damprid. Really easy. Um, so I I use um, I use these containers also from Bunnings um, to mix, and they're five litre containers. I think they cost a couple of bucks each, and that's my mark there for one US gallon, three point seven five or three point eight litres, and I dissolve um, five hundred grams of Damprid into that to make my solution as per recipe one. I was using recipe two when I was using lime water for a little bit as well. Um, the bicarb soda part, the alkalinity part, that's easy, that's um, bicarb soda. Um, that's available at any supermarket, easy peasy. Again, I just mix it up in the same sort of container. Um, and for that one I use 594 grams, which I need another box. One box doesn't do it. I think you can buy a, a kilo box anyway, so um, again, that lasts me a fair while. The magnesium part's a bit harder because um, the preferred recipe, recipe 3A, or part 3A in both recipes, you need some magnesium chloride, as well as Epsom salts, which is magnesium sulfate. Um, Epsom salts or magnesium sulfate is available in um, all chemists in Australia um, mostly in that size, I haven't seen it any bigger but it might be <coughs> um, so to make one gallon or 3.8 litres of that you need um, 8 cups, I'm not sure what that measures out to in, um, in grams but I've never had to make one gallon because um, I, it just you don't use this as much as the other two solutions so um, I only ever make a two litre two litre solution of this um, and one box works out pretty much exactly for um, the part 3B the part 3A requires you to get some magnesium chloride and there's my magnesium chloride um, that's one of the guys in our um, aquarium club MassQ Marine Aquarium Society of Queensland got that for us. Thanks for, thanks for that, Derek. And um, he bought that as a group buy for all of us guys um, from a chemical supplier in Melbourne, I think. And we ended up paying 25, uh, I think it was $25 each for a, 25, uh, for a five kilo bag. So I can now use um, the preferred part 3A out of Randy's um, recipe to make my um, solution. If I was making a full gallon, I think it was three cups of Epsom salts and five cups of magnesium chloride. And then Randy also says that there's some precipitation that comes out of that solution, which is um, sulfate, uh, excess sulfate from the Epsom salts and excess chloride. And um, he says that's fine to put in. A lot of people on the on some forums say you can't do this, you can't do that. Well. Um, if they're smarter than a, um, a chemist, well, good on them, but I think I believe a um, marine aquarium chemist over some pimply teenager on a forum. Um, another chemical that 
um, a lot of people use is lime for kalkwasser or lime water um, and that's all I use and I've, I use that for about two years in my tank. Mine's not the most spectacular tank in the world but um, that that is um, pretty much all you need. So it's um, calcium hydroxide, it's pure. If you need to, if you're worried about any of these chemicals, you just go onto um, the internet and and look for the MSDS, the Marine um, Material Safety Data Sheet for all of these products. Every every product has a MSDS, and you can find out the specifics of what is contained and how pure they are. Um, Builders Lime, this this brand is pretty pure, and I used it um, wholly and solely for calcium and alkalinity addition for two years, and it was fine. Um, so yeah, that's what I use. It's all good. Um, it's really cheap. Um, bag of that lime costs about, I think, uh, seven bucks. Packet of Epsom salts costs four dollars. Packet of um, baking soda costs probably about three dollars as well. Um, so if you don't want to fork out for a calcium reactor. Um, just grab all this gear. I made myself a little dosing pump with, um, with a little air pump, probably cost me about 30 bucks in parts, and um, it works absolutely brilliantly. So um, I don't I don't manually dose, but if you've got a small tank, this one's only, I've only got 300 litre total volume, including the sump here, so I, I'm not bothered with any more equipment hanging out under my um, tank, it can't fit anyway. So that's all I use. Anyway, um, good luck. If you want to check out um, another site with some more specifics about how to mix and all that stuff, uh, search for Limpets Reef, L-I-M-P-I-T-S, Limpets Reef on YouTube. He's got a really good instructional video about how to mix the two-part system. Um, they all mix clear. You don't have any precipitation. If uh, You might have a little bit on the bottom of the jugs afterwards, but um, it's, uh, it's all good. It works. And... Um, Get into it.